The court, yes, the court has uh, reserved uh, judgment for Monday. What's your reaction? Uh, well, the judgment that they have pronounced today is sufficient for us to be happy. Uh, because obviously the intervener's intentions are very well known. It was bred by mischief. And this raises a lot of concern in uh, political players such as us that the state is getting involved in matters in which it has least interest or to try and frustrate the cause of justice. I would like to commend the bench for coming up with this decision to dismiss the petition by the intervener. And let's wait now for the court to hand out judgment on Monday. But we're happy that the intentions of uh, Attorney General have been declared as mischievous. And we hope that uh, Attorney General will also learn that much as he is employed by the executive, his role is also to adequately advise the executive and not to bring uh, the whole country to a standstill with frivolous applications such as this. We have seen the Attorney General getting involved and raising issues that uh, are extremely frivolous and academic. So we shall wait for Monday. But what is even more important is that uh, the two petitioners did not go to sleep. They were alert with what was happening in society. While sitting in court yesterday, they were also following what was happening around. And I'm delighted that they've done what we're expecting them to do, what many citizens were waiting for them to do, to apply to commence content proceedings against the ECZ. Because the ECZ must not think that it is a power unto itself. It also has to operate within the confines of the law. There is no reason why the ECZ at every turn must accept the power of other institutions. Now they have shown that they want to try and bring down the judiciary by going contrary to the decisions of the judiciary. The court today has stood up to defend its position. And yes, the court, just like the executive, derived their authority from the public, but they are also accountable to the public. And I'd like to say to the panel today, well done for standing up to defend the position of the judiciary in the governance of this country. Well, for us as uh, petitioners, we are very, very happy that uh, the mischief which emerged from the Attorney General's chambers to try and frustrate the wheels of justice uh, have been uh, um, thrown out. And we're happy that the, the, the court was firm uh, in, in, in this regard. You recall that uh, uh, our main worry was the 90 days uh, which is lapsing for Gabushi on the 27th and uh, for Kwacha, which is lapsing on the 2nd. And if judgment had been delivered on Monday, and uh, assuming that it was in our favor, by now uh, certain processes would have been completed. But the idea of the Attorney General was to try and frustrate the, uh, the whole process, hoping that whatever they had come up with uh, to run the election on some illegalities uh, would have worked out uh, on, on, on behalf of Gaf, um, I mean, the ruling party. But we are happy that finally this has been quickly been disposed of. And Monday is not a long time. Uh, we wait. Uh, within 10 days, we think that uh, if we will be successful, the proper election can be can be held. But otherwise, we are happy that the, the, the court has been very firm to deal with the, the mischief from the Attorney General's chamber. Yeah, uh, so just to add that um, the people should know that we are, what we are seeking before the court is a factual situation which the court has said still exists. And the factual situation is that there were two candidates that resigned. And the commission was supposed to cancel 
and is still under a mandate, mandatory uh, uh, required by the constitution, to cancel those elections and call for fresh nominations. We sympathize with the people of Kabushi and Kwacha that uh, this thing is dragging and time is running. But we are happy so far with the decision of the court that they will pronounce themselves on this matter on Monday. Uh, on whether it is a, indeed contravene the constitution by not cancelling an election when the two candidates resign. So the issue of resignation, a rescission of resignation, is no longer an issue before the court. We are proceeding to ensure that the, 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 the judiciary protects the constitution. ECZ must discharge its mandate. And on Monday, yes, we are going to file a motion of contempt. We will file in a notice to ensure that the three commissioners at the commission should be cited for contempt because we cannot continue on the path that we are on. Whilst we are in court, we are saying the uh, nominations are invalid. They still proceed to hold press briefings. A statement yesterday was issued. It affects the integrity of the entire electoral process. And so for us, we are doing this to defend the Constitution. We are doing this to protect the integrity of the courts. And we are very happy with the outcome today. Thank you very much. <coughs> Thank you very much.